Hello and welcome everyone. This is the 2024 36th annual Pitt and Sydney Chertok Florida Native Nature Photography Contest Awards Program created and brought to you by Orange Audubon Society and very generously co-sponsored for 21 years now by Colonial Photo and Hobby and the owners, Mike and Steve Rausch. For 21 years, they've been contributing gift cards for the prize package and creating large format displays of images entered in the contest that they select randomly for use in store displays. And afterwards, they give these displays to Orange Audubon Society so that we may use them for further educational use and to promote the Chertok competition. We also thank the Tarflower Chapter of Florida Native Plant Society for co-sponsoring the Youth Prize Package that enabled Orange Audubon to increase first through third place and also to add fourth and fifth place money prizes for the youth contestants. This presentation is a show of eligible entries in all three categories of the Chertok contest, starting with the youth category. These entries are from photographers age 17 and younger. The second feature will be novice category entries from new and less experienced photo hobbyists. And the last feature will be entries from the advanced amateur professional photographers. At the end of the presentation, winners will be announced. The Chertok cont Contest now has a 36-year history. It began in 1988 as a slide competition. It was initially funded with memorial donations made in honor of Sidney Chertok, a very accomplished patented engineer who had a passion for nature photography. His wife, Kit, subsidized the program in its early years and later from Orange Audubon Society's very successful fundraising efforts, the contest became self-sustaining. It's been going strong ever since for 36 years. That's just because like Sydney Chertok, there are nature loving shutterbugs shutter out there who enjoy the challenges of nature photography. And we love the show that your entries make possible year after year. The contest objectives align with Orange Audubon's exempt educational and conservation mission by seeking to spark the photographer's interest in learning about and supporting the preservation of Florida's native wildlife and natural places and encouraging and enhancing your enjoyment of nature through responsible photography, consistent with Orange Audubon's conservation mission. Orange Audubon's exempt mission is the contest, uh, the contest entry criteria. Native education, uh, nature education component says that subject matter cannot contain non-native plants, animals, or humans, or human artifacts. Subject matter cannot be excessively manipulated. It should align with truth and nature standards and photos must be taken while the photographer is complying with the North American Nature Photography Association, NANPA for short, ethical field practices for the health and safety of wildlife, wild places, and even you. NANPA promotes responsible nature photography and so does Orange Audubon. Subject matter must be native to Florida. Consider this, although the Sunshine State is known for its citrus crops, citrus is not native to Florida. Oranges were first brought to the New World in 1493 on ships commanded by Christopher Columbus and soon, soon thereafter by the Spanish conquistadors. Furthering your education tonight, we're gonna take a look at a few more images with disqualifying elements. And we're going to let you try to spot and identify them. Some images were entered in the contest. If you notice one that's yours, don't be embarrassed. This is not show and tell. This is a way to educate and also to show off some wonderful images that otherwise would not be presented tonight in the awards program. For example, firebush. Plants like firebush are often cultivated. That means they've been altered by 
people. Now, they're not native. Cultivars are not native. The Firebush slide shows the differences between the plants that are native and those that are cultivated. Florida has native and non-native porterweed plants. The native blue porter has smaller, paler, bluish purple flowers, and it has a small uh, sprawling growth pattern. It grows closer to the ground. The non-native has larger, brighter reddish purple flowers. It grows upright and tall. It's everywhere. It must be native to Florida, right? Well, not necessarily. In this image, water spangle, the plant with the larger leaves is native to South America, whereas the duckweed with the smaller leaves is native to Florida. But you see this water spangle everywhere. Birds love the berries and they unwittingly spread seeds that spread this exotic invasive plant when they eat them. So what is this plant? It's Brazilian pepper, which has in places like Merritt Island supplanted native flora leading to the demise of native ecosystems. Here's another example of Brazilian pepper. So you see it everywhere? Well, doesn't mean it's native. This is water hyacinth. It's everywhere, but it's another exotic invasive plant that's costing Floridians millions in efforts to cut its spread. Think before you toss plants from a dish garden into the yard for mulching or composting because those plants might take root and then they might take over like this non-native arrowhead plant has done. Sometimes, but not always, common names of plants and animals are clues to their true origins. For example, Brazilian pepper, Australian pine, Chinese taro, Japanese coil, Indian peafowl, Peruvian primrose willow, Sometimes, but not always, clues to non-nativity. Take, for instance, Florida tassel flower. If you think it's native, you would be incorrect. It's called Florida tassel flower because it is so prevalent here, according to the Florida plant atlas, not native. And here's an example of Peruvian primrose willow that happens to have a honeybee in it. Honeybees are not native to Florida. There's a honeybee in this image. Can you see it? There it is. Can you also see the little twirls that are part of the plant that look so incredibly like the twirls on the abdomen of this honeybee? And don't forget that cows and horses are not native to Florida either. Neither are the old world rats. You can tell that they're old world by the length of their tail. The tail is longer than the size of the body of this rat. Native mallard ducks, mallards rather, you don't say ducks, don't breed here. They occasionally migrate through Florida in the winter. Feral mallards that breed here are not native to Florida. So if your image has ducklings in it, that indicates you're taking photographs of feral mallards that are non-native to Florida. Black swans are native to Australia. Tilapia are native to Africa, not to Florida. Ironically, this fish was introduced in Florida, I'm sorry, it's introduced in Florida to curtail the growth of invasive aquatic plants, but the plan backfired. Florida's waters are now invaded with many other non-native cichlids. Another contest requirement is that images cannot contain humans. That includes human artifacts. So watch for things like mowed grass in residential landscapes. Mowed grass, even in some wild places. Watch for things like edging and mulching, uh, manicured hedges and landscapes. These are human artifacts. There's your man manicured hedge. Some artifacts are more difficult to discern, and that's the key here in, in our screening of these images. If it's not discernible as a non-native, then the, the image is not uh, eliminated. If it's a discernible non-native plant or animal in the subject matter, then it's eliminated. So some are harder to discern, but not this 
perch for the burrowing owl. That's easy to spot. Always check for specks. Inspect the background. Is if you're taking a photo where there's a city on the uh, other side of your of the lake, there's probably going to be telltale signs like bridges or buildings and cell towers. The dots on the water could become fishermen and boats and cell towers and, and buildings. Leg bands used for conservation research on imperiled birds are human artifacts. Florida scrub jays will almost always be banded, so take care. Contrail from aircraft is a human artifact. These artifacts are a bit difficult to discern. Can you spot them? I'll give you a, I'll help you out here. There are two. There's the roadbed and there are tire tracks. The acrobatic bob paths are native to Florida. And so is this hispid cotton rat. It's native and cute. So what's wrong here is gravel. Can you discern the problem here? Hmm. Pink flip-flops and matching toenail polish, not allowed. Images must adhere to truth and nature standards. That means that they can't be excessively manipulated and the subject matter should depict what would occur naturally and what you would see in the environment. And this, in this image, the color is um, and the texture are just not what you would see in a natural setting. And, and this technique doesn't represent what's found in nature, not, not even, I think, during hurricanes or tor tornadoes. Judges are drawn to images that show creativity. They look for dynamic composition, unique perspectives, action and interaction of the subject matter. They look for things that catch the, right, the, the light just right. Catch light, they call it. They capture the true color and tell a story maybe in a single frame. They're drawn to photos with a wow factor. The next examples are techniques that are exceptional for those reasons. All are past Chertok winners that graced the covers of Orange Audubon's 2023-24 annual brochure. And they were photographed by Lauren Chen. The composition is wonderful. The body language of that little, I call her the runt of the litter, hunkered down in the middle, tells a story about her position in the, in the nest. This image by Heather Earl. It's another great composition with the background colors that complement the bird's yellow throat and that yellow color so vibrant leading up to the beak. And in it, you notice an itsy bitsy spider being eaten by the, by the bird. And this image by Jean Polarolo has the wow factor for sure. It definitely captures the often whimsical and erratic behavior of reddish egrets. Marina Scar loves owls. And who doesn't love owls and owlets, even those with a sourpuss expression? Wonderful images. So I hope you found that segment of the program informative, educational. It takes a village to run this little event. And thanks are in order to the Chotok Contest and Screening Committee. Some have been on the committee since day one. That means since 1988, when Chotok began. When these screeners are stumped by an image, we send what we call the Chotok puzzlers to experts, provided they're not being the judges this year. And sometimes our experts are asked to serve as judges. For example, we send puzzlers to botanists like E.T. And if E.T isn't home, <laughs> or he doesn't call back, then we send them to Catherine Bowman, another infamous botanist. We send bird puzzlers to bird nerds like, like Bruce Anderson and Paul Huber. And we send fish and mollusk puzzlers to Dr. Buck Snelson or Mark Sees. These and others are regularly asked to help with Chertok puzzlers and we thank them very much. Thanks also to this year's panel of judges. The winners are selected by a panel of three independent judges who are professionals in the fields of art, nature, and photography. This year's judges were Susan Kiss, 
Although Sue considers herself self-taught, she has studied extensively with other artists and with master pastelists. Her current focus areas include oil and pastel mediums. She has exhibited her art in Florida and in juried national exhibitions, and she's won numerous awards. She was a finalist in the Artist Magazine's annual art competition. Susan has participated in plein air events in Florida and was recently juried into annual exhibitions of the Pastel Society of America and the International Association of Pastel Societies. She's a member of Pastel Society of America and of Central Florida. Thank you, Sue. Mark Sees, our naturalist. His name is synonymous with the Orlando wetlands. When he served as vice president for Orange Audubon on the board of directors, that was in the 1990s, he was then at the wetlands as an analyst, what was then called Orlando Wetlands Park. Now he's the wetlands manager. And in addition to having extensive land management credentials and writings on related subjects, Mark has participated in numerous wildlife surveys and volunteered in local schools to provide educational programs on the environment. In 2018, Mark was called to Washington, D.C. to receive the National Wetlands Award and Congressional Service Award for his work in wetlands. And more recently, Mark received the McNamara Employee of the Year Award for his exemplary work with the city of Orlando. Thank you so much, Mark. And our photographer judge, Reinhard Geisler, is a manager in a large corporation. He started photography over 40 years ago using film, SLR, and mainly using Canon. After the move into digitization and his um, focus in bird photography, he switched to Nikon and he still uses that equipment, currently a mirrorless system. He's a volunteer at the Orlando Wetlands and a Florida Master Naturalist. He and his wife, Yuta, created Birds of Orlando Wetlands, a book, and taught bird photography workshops. He also leads field trips for Orange Audubon Society's uh, very popular North Shore Birding Festival. His images have been featured in American Birding Association publications and in various other publications, both here and abroad. You'll find some of these on his website that I've listed here for your enjoyment. Thank you, Sue, Mark, and Reinhardt for giving of your time and talent to benefit Orange Audubon's Chertok Nature Photo Contest. And thank you to all of the photographers who have ever participated in any contest since 1988. We look forward to this awards program every year and appreciate you for making it happen. Now we're about, we're about to show the entries in the 2024 Kit and Sydney Chertok Photo Contest. They're gonna be shown randomly. We will provide the titles, the species names, and the locations if all of this information is provided. Sit back, enjoy. First feature, the youth category. This is the familiar woodpecker. Pileated Woodpecker, Orlando Wetlands. Egret on final approach, Snowy Egret, Newton Park. Roseate Nesting Decor, Roseate Spoonbill, Orlando Wetlands. Nondescript Rarity, an ash-throated flycatcher, River Lakes Conservation Area. Fresh Fish, Snowy Egret, Orlando Wetlands. Delicious dragonfly snack, great egret with a Halloween pennant, Lake Toho. Brilliant migrant, and actually it could be a resident migrant since we have them in Florida year round. This is column, common yellowthroat, Merritt Island National Wildlife Refuge. Bull spread, belted kingfisher, Newton Park. A gift wrapped tricolored Heron, Newton Park. Vocal red-winged blackbird, Merritt Island National Wildlife Refuge. Roseate in flight, Roseate Spoonbill, Orlando Wetlands. Eagle elegant goods. Elegance or free falling. Anyway, don't try this at home. It's a bald eagle, Lake Toho. 
hunter clad in slate, snail kite, Payne's Prairie Preserve State Park. Screamin' red-winged blackbird, Newton Park. And Osprey with a fresh catch, Newton Park. That was a fabulous showing, youth photographers. And now, the novice category. First flight of the Polyphemus, which ended in a crash, Ultimate Springs. Great Blue Heron with a breakfast, Orlando Wetlands. Don't even think about taking my breakfast, Barred Owl with a turtle, Mead Botanical Garden. Mama Heart, Sandhill Cranes, Winter Garden. A Blue Rainbow, Indigo Bunting, Oviedo. Two of a Kind, Grady Grit Chicks, Craft Azalea Dark Garden. Hoity Toity, Sandhill Crane with its nose up in the air, Orlando Wetlands. Feet in the Sand, Laughing Gall, New Smyrna Beach. Jurassic. Brown Pelican, Cocoa Beach, giving you a hard stare, Little Blue Heron, Orlando. Finding shelter from the sun, Great Blue Herons, Lake Popka Wildlife Drive. Just a little snack, Yellow Crowned Night Heron, Sanibel. Black Swallowtail on Spanish Needle, Winter Garden. Singing his heart out, Prairie Warbler, Fort DeSoto. Florida Scrub Jay, Ocala National Forest. Blue Winged Pixie Dust, Blue Winged Teal, Lake Apopka. Searching for Dinner, Bald Eagle, St. Mark's National Wildlife Refuge. Introducing the Oil Owlets of 2024. Ta-da! Barred Owls, Sorrento. Morning Glories. Cocoa Beach, Rising Up, Great Egret, Sunset Dribbles, Reddish Egret, Fort DeSoto, Angel Wings, Great Egret, Newton Park, Great Blue Heron, Orlando Wetlands, A Hawk's Gotta Eat, Red-Tailed Hawk, and Eastern Gray Squirrel, Winter Park, The Pink Cape, Roseate Spoonbill, Orlando Wetlands, Sunkissed, Great Southern White on Spanish Needle, Merritt Island. Great Egret Adult and Chick, Craft Azalea Garden. A Backlit Indigo Bunting, Orlando Wetlands. King of the Swamp, American Alligator, Lake Apopka Wildlife Drive. Black Bellied Plover, also known as Gray plover outside the Western Hemisphere, Cocoa Beach. Sky gazing, Green Heron, Orlando. Let me pose for you, Black Wing, Red Winged Blackbird, Black Point Wildlife Drive, Walking the Tightrope, Purple Gallinule, Newton Park. Snowy egret in breeding plumage, Kissimmee. Redhead's reflection, a redhead drake, St. Mark's National Wildlife Refuge. Black and white warbler in pine, pine meadows. Stealthy roseate spoonbill, Orlando wetlands. Yum, yum, tastes like sawdust. Carolina chickadee remodeling a nest cavity, Tallahassee. Bald cypress, in Christmas, Florida. Takeoff, red-shouldered hawk, Akuaha. Parental supervision, Sandhill Cranes, Orlando Wetlands. What a catch, Great Blue Heron, Newton Park. I want to play, immature white ibis, Orlando Wetlands. That's not a woodpecker. That's a black-crowned night heron, Orlando Wetlands. Pink Power Up, Roseate Spoonbill, Orlando Wetlands. Good morning, Great Egret Chicks, Craft Azalea Garden. Sunset Cuddle Time, Great Horned Owl, Adult and Owlette, 
Joe Overstreet Road. Well, hello there, Eastern Gray Squirrel on Live Oak with an acorn, Ponce Inlet, Shadows, Great Egret, Lakeland, Osprey with a midday catch, Orlando, Patiently Waiting, Yellow Garden Spider, Black Point Wildlife Drive, a Beautiful Landing, Rosette Spoonbill, Merritt Island, Gulf Fritillary, Merritt Island National Wildlife Refuge, Dino Bird, Immature Black Crowned Night Heron, Lake Apopka Wildlife Drive, Rosette Spoonbill, Black Point Wildlife Drive, Fluffy but Fierce, Palm Warbler, Orlando Wetlands, Pretty in Yellow, Profanitary Warbler, St. Mark's National Wildlife Refuge. Look what I brought to you. Great Blue Herons. Negative Space, Great Egret, St. Augustine Alligator Farm. Taking a break from tending to fledglings, Bald Eagle Pear, South Lake Apopka. Palm Warbler, giving you a little attitude, Orlando Wetlands. Go, Greeny, go. Green Sea Turtle Hatchling, Melbourne. Double Trouble, Great Egret with Chicks, Orlando Wetlands. The Magic Garden, Great Egret's Craft Azalea Garden. Respect Your Elders, Adult and Immature Bald Eagle, Lake Davis. The Dunes and Sea Oats, Fort Clinch State Park. Rosie at Spoonbill, Preening, Orlando Wetlands. Just what are you looking at? Is it that you like my new hairdo? Green Heron, Black Point Wildlife Drive. Hiding out. We solemnly swear we are up to no good. Raccoons, Merritt Island. The Woodstork Close Up, Winter Garden. Soggy Shoulders, Red Shouldered Hawk. Lake Kapapka Wildlife Drive. This one is not gonna reach the top of the food chain. American Alligator and a Great Blue Heron. Lake Kapapka Wildlife Drive. Pest Control, Ruby-Throated Hummingbird, Oklahoma. Building a Home, Snowy Egret, St. Augustine Alligator Farm. Off to find food for the eaglets, bald eagle pear, South Lake Popka. Rosie at Spoonbill taking flight, Orlando Wetlands. Living up to its name, immature black skimmer, Merritt Island. Morning conversation, great egrets, craft azalea garden. A pelican's evening, brown pelican, St. Augustine Pier. Sky High, Bald Eagle, Orlando, who's a pretty bird. Tri-colored heron, Black Point Wildlife Drive. Hail, hail, the gang's all here. Ring-billed gulls, show over Street Road. The poser, Anhinga male, Lake Apopka Wildlife Drive. Pink and blue, Rosie at Spoonville, Merritt Island, National Wildlife Refuge. On the lookout, Vermilion Flycatcher, Gainesville. All dolled up, Snowy Egret, St. Augustine Alligator Farm. This is what Einstein looked like as a teenager, but it's not. It's a male Anhinga trying out a new hairdo, Newton Park. The best nest builder, Rosie at Spoonbill. Orlando Wetlands, and Jumping for Joy, Sandhill Crane Colts, Orlando Wetlands. Bravissimo, novice photographers, that was great. And our final feature from the advanced amateur professional category, starting with the curious Sandhill Crane, Orlando Wetlands. Black Skimmer Symmetry, Another immature black skimmer, Merritt Island National Wildlife Refuge. This is the famous Crookie, the mascot 
of Lake Kapopka Wildlife Drive, a great blue heron. Honey, I'm home. Great blue herons on the nest. Lake Apopka Wildlife Drive. Family feud, or maybe they're just talking politics. Rosiette Spoonbills having a serious conversation. St. Augustine. Associations, Laughing Gulls, Fort DeSoto. Feed me, feed me. Pileated woodpecker, adult and chicks. Mead Botanical Garden. All tucked in, Sandhill Cranes, Trinity. All You Can Eat Buffet, Black Bellied Clover, Fort DeSoto Park. A Splash Party, Rosie Gets Boonville, Black Point Wildlife Drive. Mating Bald Eagles, Winter Garden. Peekaboo, Rosie at Spoonbill, near Port St. Lucie. Escargot, male snail kite, Lake Toho. Nature's Ballerina, American Flamingo, Fort DeSoto. A Great Grab, a female snail kite with apple snail, Alachua County. A Nurturing Mom, Osprey and Chick, Winter Park. Looking, looking for Love, Snowy Egret, St. Augustine Alligator Farm. The Pretty Pose, Rosie at Spoonbill, Orlando Wetlands. Bald Eagle with a Marsh Rabbit. Oh no, not Peter Cottontail. Belle Glade. Evening Glow, Tricolored Heron, Lake Buena Vista. Early Morning American Flamingo. Thank you, Hurricane Idalia, for bringing flamingos in mass back to Florida. Merritt Island National Wildlife Refuge. Bringing home the nesting materials, Osprey, Fort DeSoto. A light in the forest, an eastern towhee. Three Lakes Wildlife Management Area. Morning Wood Ducks, Lake Emerald. Peeking, peeking through Pileated Woodpecker in Elderberry. Circle B Bar Reserve. American Flamingos doing the twist. The Wetlands. Palms, Schnags with Vultures. Orlando Wetlands. Hey, he gets all the juicy grubs. It's my turn. Pileated Woodpecker Adult with Chicks, Mead Botanical Garden. The Golden Path, Sandhill Crane Colt, Keystone. Glamour Drake, Wood Duck, no makeup required. Becoming redhead, a very becoming redhead. Immature redheaded woodpecker, Joe Overstreet Road. It's a hummer of a day, ruby throated hummingbird and firebush, Orlando. Spread Eagle, bald eagle, Mount Dora. Reflection on a cloudy morning, great blue heron, Vieira wetlands. Eastern Bluebird Portrait. Reflections, American Flamingos, Merritt Island National Wildlife Refuge. A Romance Rendezvous, Barred Owls, Vero Beach. Spoonbill Love, Rosiette Spoonbill, St. Augustine Alligator Farm. Yummy, yum, regurgitated fish for dinner. Great egret and chicks, St. Augustine alligator form. Vermilion flycatcher with an eastern pond hook. Now that's the mouthful. Torrey Island. Anhinga, Lake Buena Vista. Northern shoveler stare down. This is the male or a drake. Merritt Island National Wildlife Refuge. Out on a limb, green heron, like a popka wildlife drive. Just say, ah, red-headed woodpecker, Joe Overstreet Road. A mother's love, great horned owl with owlet, Lake Wales. Berry juice, rosy, uh, rose-breasted grosbeak, Fort DeSoto. Male chick being fed, pileated woodpecker adult and chicks. Mead Botanical Garden. 
pretty in pink, yellow warbler on eastern redbud, springtime refractions, Florida manatee, blue spring state park, hungry, happy trio, hyliated woodpeckers, Mead Botanical Garden, the proud of fisherman, great blue heron with a large mouth bass, Newton Park, taking a morning stroll, gopher tortoise, Jonathan Dickinson, State Park. Mer uh, Merlin perched, showing off its handsome vest. Hi neighbor, orangey and pinky, or American Flamingo and Rosette Spoonbill, Merritt Island, National Wildlife Refuge. A shy great horned owlet, lakelet. Figure eight, American flamingo, Fort DeSoto. Honey, I'm home, great egret, Wakotahatchee wetlands. The piggyback ride, Pied Bill Greaves, Green K, and Del, Del Rey. The thinker, Ann Hinga, Orlando wetlands. Brown pelican takeoff, Merritt Island National Wildlife Refuge. In search for worms, semi-palmated plover, Fort DeSoto. The gatherer, Eastern Kingbird, Brevard County. The full cupboard, yellow rumped warbler or wax myrtle. On wax myrtle, excuse me. Mead Botanical Garden. A Story of Resilience, American Flamingo at Fort DeSoto. Thanks again to a hurricane. Portrait of an Anhinga, Orlando Wetlands. Adult, pileated woodpecker, preparing to feed the chick. Mead Botanical Garden. Tan, don't burn, get a copper tone tan. White out, white ibis in breeding color not sunburned, Fort DeSoto State Park. Sally Lightfoot lunch, Sally Lightfoot crab eating sea lettuce, Sebastian Inlet State Park. Black and white beauty, black and white warbler, Loxahatchee. Mating egrets, Winter Park. Morning stretch, a roseate spoonbill with a few immature white ibis near Port St. Lucie. In your face, Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnake, Kissimmee. Spread Eagle, Bald Eagle, Lake Redora. The Family Tree, Roseate Spoonbill, St. Augustine. Golden Arch, Reddish Egret, Fort DeSoto. Pastel Pinks are the thing. Roseate Spoonbill, Felsmere. Graceful Nest Building, Great Egret, St. Augustine Alligator Farm. Great Horned Owl with what's left of a rabbit. No Easter basket for you, Mr. Owl. Green K. Cute Coot, my what odd feet you have. American Coot, Orlando Wetlands. Up for Air, Sea Turtle, Ponce Inlet. Black Necked Still, Rousting a Minnow. Merritt Island National Wildlife Refuge. Oh, life is good. American Alligator, Newton Park. Graceful Courtship, Roseate Spoonbills, St. Augustine. Osprey Rising from a Tidal Pool, Fort DeSoto. This is getting the bolus ready and that's something akin to chewing up food. Hyliated Woodpecker Family, Mead Botanical Garden. A perky prothonotary warbler with a little stick. Under my wings, glossy ibis, Wakotahatchee wetlands. A bony snack, black skimmer with needlefish, sand dollar spit, Marco Island. Sunrise heron, great blue heron, Newton Park. Hey, you down there, this is my palm tree, great blue heron, Vieira wetlands. Sea turtle swim, parent and child, American oyster catchers, Fort DeSoto Park. Sunrise routine, roseate spoonbill, fells mirror. 
Spring Cleaning, Burrowing Owl, Ryan Piccolo Park. Wood Duck Takeoff, Peaceful Waters. Fall Colors, Black-Throated Green Warbler. Stretch, Sandhill Crane Colt, Orlando Wetlands. Or maybe he's taking a bow, as you all should. That was awesome. That was awesome, advanced photographers. We hope you enjoyed the show. The moment we've been waiting for, these awards are gonna be presented by award type, starting with honorable mentions. We'll work our way up to first place in all categories. Each award level will be announced by category. First, the youth, then novice, then advanced. The first awards, honorable mentions in the youth category. Ta-da! They go to Lauren Chen for Osprey with a fresh catch. Ethan Landreville for a hunter clad in slate, snail cut. Ethan Landreville once again for a nondescript rarity, the ash-throated flycatcher. Matthew Chen from Windermere for Egret on Final Approach, Snowy Egret. And the last honorable mention in the youth category goes to Ethan Landreville from Melbourne for the brilliant migrant, common yellowthroat. Honorable mentions in the novice category go to Jean Polarolo from Sarasota for Hail Hail, the gang's all here, ring-billed gulls. To Roger Simmons from Orlando for backlit indigo bunting. To Janine Reed from Winter Garden for singing his heart out, prairie warbler. To Jean Polarolo from Sarasota for just a little snack, yellow crowned night heron. To Scott Ball for pretty and yellow, profanitary warbler. To Jack Berkstresser from Winter Garden for Gulf Fritillary. To Tracy Dreyfus from Oklahoma for On the Lookout, Vermilion Flycatcher. To Janine Reed from Winter Garden for Redhead Drake Reflection. And the last honorable mention in the novice category goes to Tracy Dreyfus from Oklahoma for Takeoff. Red-shouldered hawk. Honorable mentions in the advanced category go to Ruth Panunzio from West Palm Beach for Pied Build Greaves. The piggyback ride. To Bobby Van Myra from Palm Coast for High Neighbor, American Flamingo, and Rosia Spoonbill. To Carol Darling from Cocoa Beach for Little, Sna Little Stick, Profana Theory Warbler. And to Carol Darling again from Cocoa Beach for Glamour Drake, Wood Duck. To Tim Marker from Orlando for Golden Arch, Reddish Egret. To Susan Kirby from Orlando for Portrait of an Anhingo. To Daryl Rostin from Deland for Black Necked Stilt Rouse Ameno. To John Ruggeri from Howie for In Your Face, Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnake who lived to tell about it. <laughs> this honorable mention goes to Amber Favorite from Winter Garden for Romance Rendezvous, Barred Owls. This goes to Daryl Rostin from Deland for Early Morning American Flamingo. And the last honorable mention in the advanced category is awarded to David Rose from Cocoa Beach for Sally Lightfoot Crab with Sea Lettuce. I'd like to remind everyone that all honorable mentions, as well as the first through fifth place winning images, vie for the honor of gracing the cover of Orange Audubon's 2024-2025 annual brochure, 
that's just being published. In fact, it's in the mail right now. And if you're not on our mailing list to receive our annual brochure and other informative uh, pieces about our activities, things you might be interested in, you can use this email to join, to request joining. Also, I'd like to remind you that all entries, all the eligible entries, not just the winners, vie for selection by Colonial Photo and Hobby for featured in-store displays. Fifth place winner in the youth category is going to receive a ribbon, a $20 cash prize from Orange Audubon and Tarflower Chapter of Florida Native Plant Society. And the fifth place winner goes to Familiar Woodpecker Pileated winner, Ethan Landreville from Melbourne. The fourth place winner in the youth category receives a ribbon and a $30 cash prize from Orange Audubon and Tarflower Chapter of Florida Native Plant Society. And the winner is Rosiette's Nesting decorator, Rosiette Spoonbill. The photographer is Lauren Chen from Windermere. The third place youth category winner receives a ribbon, a $40 combined cash prize from Orange Audubon and Tarflower Chapter, Florida Native Plant Society, plus a $10 gift card from Colonial Photo and Hobby. And that winner, is Lauren Chen from Windermere for a delicious dragonfly snack. Great eager with Halloween pennant. The third place winning image in the novice category wins a ribbon, a $50 cash prize from Orange Audubon Society and a $25 gift card from Colonial Photo and Hobby. And the winning image is rising up, it was photographed by Tracy Dreyfus from Oklawaha. The third place winning a winner in the advanced category received a ribbon, a $50 cash prize from Orange Audubon Society and a $25 gift card from Colonial Photo and Hobby. And the winning, winning image is all tucked in, Sandhill Cranes. And the photographer is Robert Gleckner from Dun Eden. The second place winner in the youth category receives a red ribbon, a $15 gift card from Colonial Photo and Hobby, and a $60 combined cash prize from Orange Audubon Society and the Tarflower Chapter of Florida Native Plant Society. And the winner is Matthew Chen from Windermere for full spread belted kingfisher. The second place winner in the novice and advanced categories each receive red ribbons, $50 gift cards from Colonial Photo and Hobby and $100 cash prizes from Orange Audubon. In the novice category, the winning image is Jumping for Joy, Sandhill Crane Colts. And the winning photographer is Katrin Halinga from Orlando. In the advanced category, the winning image is Parent and Child, American Oyster Catchers. And the winning photographer is Bobby Van Myra from Palm Coast. The first place winner in the youth category receives a blue ribbon, a $25 gift card from Colonial Photo and Hobby and a $100 combined cash prize from Orange Audubon Society and Tarflower Chapter of Florida Native Plant Society. And the winner and the winning image is gift wrap tricolored heron. And the winner is Lauren Shin from Windermere. The first place winners in the novice and advanced categories each receive a blue ribbon, a $100 gift card from Colonial Photo and Hobby, 
and a $200 cash prize from Orange Audubon Society. And the first place winning image in the novice category goes to Pest Control, Ruby-Throated Hummingbird. And the photographer is Tracy Dreyfus from Oklawaha. And in the advanced category, the winning image, Spring Cleaning, Burrowing Owl. And the winning photographer is Allison Richards from Ottawa, Canada. Congratulations to the 2024 winners. And many thanks to all participants, to everyone. We hope you enjoyed the Chertok program. We want you to know there are ways that you can support the Chertok program and other Orange Audubon programs if you would like to do so. Consider joining us, volunteering for us, and donating. You can use our website to find information on all three participatory topics. And thank you again to everyone. We want you to be safe and stay well, and we'll see you next year at the 37th Annual Sure Talk Awards Program. The date, June 19, 2025. The place, in person, Harry P. Lou Gardens. We hope to see you there. Put it on your calendar.